All right, we're checking out Knox Hill for the very first time, and it's also featuring Ren, and it's called Fentanyl. So I wonder what this is. It's probably going to be about fentanyl. <laughs> I don't wonder what it's going to be about. It's probably going to be about that. Guys, if you like this track that was playing in the beginning, that's uh, our original music. It's a free way to support us by just checking it out. If you're new here, my name is Alan. I'm a sound engineer and musician. We're going to try to separate tracks to this. I know this is going to be more of a hip hop thing. So I think I have some good separation going on with this and we're gonna check out the production and all that. But like, comment, subscribe, share this video. If you like content like this. Oh, and shout out to Janine for uh, donating for this request also. Conscious rap was vibing, but they said it wasn't selling. So instead of tribe, the question was for highs, I guess I get it. But we sold our de la souls and reassigned the proper metrics. Violent rap survived and Darwinized the prophet zealots. Survival of the fittest. Trade your bars for gems and you'll be shining, that's the realest. In this climate of addiction style, Big Pharma is the realest. Now as long as pills are filling, you ain't really gotta feel the sound. The world is full of juice and while you floating, you've been finna drown. How many rappers out here missing now? They sell you with this vision and this fear of missing now The industry will fuck us, so we follow what is trending Brag about these hollow tips, but it's all hollow tip dependent I lace my verse with fentanyl and lean into attention Toe tags for dimensions, body bags for what they spending While they bragging, we descended from the ground, we all descendants now Sinners don't sleep in this broken town Trading their souls for some golden brown Feel the release, come back down But when I'm coming Um, this is, I wasn't expecting Knox Hill to sound like this for sure. I mean, I've seen like previews of his music. I guess, I guess it was, how, he sounds like someone. I don't know who, who it is, but it reminds me of someone. I don't, I don't remember who. Of course, Ren stands out. You just know when it's him, when he's doing stuff in the background, the background vocals, things like that. As far as, uh, the, like the lyrics of the, of the song and everything, um, about the addictions of drugs. The fentanyl is like a really huge thing that's happening in California, actually, where a lot of people are getting hooked on it or dying. I shouldn't say hooked on. They're just straight up dying. My cousin was a pitcher on that curve. He got that scholarship on campus. He's the man. Throwing heat as he was hot as shit. But then he hurt his arm. Senior years, time to prove it. Started taking painkillers so he could play and keep it moving. Scouts watching, couldn't lose him. So he took more and he kept using. For he knew it, he's abusing. Fast balls and two seams. Too clean, but now he's losing weight. Drug test, he failed. So they kicked him off the team. He tried to kick the habit. But he's mad that he had lost his dreams. He's sad, but he got off the lane. But all it takes is one reminder. And his mind he couldn't help it He was trying to finally settle Midnight he went outside He was fighting with his devils One hit he told him You know that's how it happens You know um, For though that's Like I remember <laughs> Just uh, introducing to Not like fentanyl Let's just cocaine Alright so I was introduced to that When I was like Later in my 20s And it's funny Because I remember I did it one time and then you don't do it again for years or whatever. Like, oh man, I was, I remember I was like, I'm never doing that again. That was fucking horrible or whatever. That was crazy. But then three years later, did it again. And then a year later, did it again. And then when I was in my corporate job, everybody's fucking doing it in restaurants and stuff. And all that stuff gets laced with fentanyl um, for sure. Uh, 100%. That's, I think that's like the number one thing that keeps you even more addicted because cocaine is expensive or whatnot. So they just start cutting up there. It was crazy. I remember we would be doing zoom meetings and one of them, we walked in, we had a straight up meeting and my boss, we were sitting there and he just, he's like, Oh, are you down? And I'm like, of course, at that point I'm like, sure. <laughs> and he just drops like $200 worth, like two eight balls, just like on the table while we're in the middle of a business meeting. I was like, it was so wild. Was like, shot the camera, lines, go back on. And it was funny because it was like, oh, I'm not going to do this again. But I remember it fucked me up so much. We did it so much that I couldn't even move off the floor. I had, I actually said no. I stopped doing it. Stopped doing it. And then it, I stopped for a while. And then it just like sneaks up on you. Then it turned into 
a monthly thing. And that's when the drinking problems happened and the drinking led to that. And I went down a super dark rabbit hole. That's taken me a very long time to get out of it. Luckily, fortunately the drinking triggers all that. So I play this balancing game between the two. So yeah, as soon as I saw the title of the song, I know it's going to be about this. So I was like, you know, I'll tell you guys that story. And it's just sucks because it's just one time. You just do it once. I did it once when I was like 20. Did it once when I was like 28 and then hooked on it at like 31, you know? So, <laughs> it's, uh, and then ever since then, it's been a struggle uh, to keep clean from it because it's just in your head. You have nightmares about it. You dream about it. You wake up in sweats. Your sleep's fucked up. It's horrible. It's, it's fucking horrible. I never thought I'd ever get addicted to anything like that. And then look at it. Like, it could create addictions to other things. And it's so hard. Fuck. <laughs> I hate it when I can't talk. <laughs> Um, it's so, it's just so hard. It's so fucking difficult, but yeah. Was, I remember two things when I was younger. I'm like, I used to be like a straight edge. I used to didn't do anything and it did. I didn't drink, do drugs or any of stuff. Even right now, just talking about, it, I feel the pressure in my brain. It's like building up. So yeah, that's something that I might have that's permanently damaged in my head. Like going forward, who knows? Like just cause I've been clean for, a couple of years now with that stuff, but it, who knows what's going to happen? What's the side effects on the line or who knows what's happening right now? But yeah, like even talking about, I feel the pressure in my head. You feel it. I, they, there's a word for it when you, that's why I can't really talk about it as much or I, I even like looking at it, it triggers it. Even this video is super fucking triggering, by the way. <laughs> it's like, it was like, that's why I was like, let me just stop and just talk about it real quick. But, um, it's, it's bad. It, it's, it's bad. Don't do it. Don't touch it. <laughs> I don't know. Probably people watching this video is going to be like, well, no shit. But, um, yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's hard because I remember I'd go like two years and then, bam, fucking down a hole. And it's all, all happened because this one time going to Vegas <laughs> with my other manager or whatnot and that's when it all started it's a it's a trickle effect it's really weird but self it'll help me through this hell i know i'm sick and i need help but one hit man what the hell so he lit it then he took it to the face but as the story goes you know that fentanyl is lace sinners don't sleep in this broken town trading their souls for some golden Heart, you took my fucking life, took my pride, you took my mind, took who I get. You know, it's even worse is sometimes it doesn't even start with like buying it. Like for, for me, it was just available. It was just free. You know, that was the worst part. Money is something that always stopped me from doing anything. I'd never want to spend money on anything like this. I don't have to. I don't have to spend money on it. Just playing in bands. It's just offered to you. That's that's the other dark side of this. Or when you're in a certain corporate position, it's just offered to you. But who knows? It could lead to you buying it, you know? Well, fortunately, I haven't went into debt over it. <laughs> like, I haven't used my own money for it. There's maybe a couple times here and there, but it's it could lead to that, too. Like, then you, when you're, when you're just fucking broke and down and out, you know? Damn it, turned to vice. Took my fam, I burned the price. And now I stand on murder time. And all my plans have turned to ice. I burn in fire, build this pyre higher. I'm wired in this dopamine, get higher. Still a broken fiend supplier of the hopeless dreams. When it's all smoke, the only ropes are one that chokes. Would they remember me? Take all my memories and light them on this fire. 
Fire for the crooked dealer, he who packaged hate Fire for that greedy villain, he who had it laced Fire for my future, that look on my father's face My mother's still in tears, my cousin, he's too far away When they told me to get help, and yes, I tried, I tried again But in the end, we're all just veins And in the end, it came to veins And in the end, I died in vain And in the end, I tried to fuck it Yeah, that, <laughs> and he's just nailing it. It's, <laughs> yeah, you get those points. You're like, uh, and we're like, I don't give a fuck if I live or not. Straight up, there's a hence surgery on my hand. You guys remember it's from punching a wall? Like, you just don't care. You just start spiraling out of control. For those who've been following the channel, you guys probably remember um, in the beginning. I don't even know how I, yeah. Just crazy. I appreciate the request, Janine, but yeah, this is brutal for me. <laughs> um, good to hear, but like, oh man, I'm feeling all sorts of ways. Like my chest is hurting right now. I feel like pulse in my neck. It's it's really bad. Um, when it comes up, it, I don't know. If it, was, it could be the coffee. I've only had one coffee today, but <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, I'm like nervous. I don't know why feel nervous because I think it's one of those things like you watch it and you're like, fuck, I don't want to go do it, you know, or something like that. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> the CDC reports that from 1999 to 2021, opioids, including fentanyl, have caused over 500 deaths in the U.S., I thought it would be more than that, honestly. That's still a lot. Damn. Da. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Uh. <sighs> yeah, what a fucking stream. No, I'm I'm glad you requested it. I I just uh hopefully out there that somebody needs to see this. Um, still going to post it. I know I didn't break it down at all. I, I, but yeah, that's my reaction to it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to it. Um, I, I feel like I do feel like now personally, like I'm almost out of the woods, like in a way, in a weird way, but not quite, you know? Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely feel, feel a bit weird. Well, uh, The thing with me too is like the relapse. I'm at the point like if I do have a major relapse, you know, that I it's like instant regret and I don't want to like be that like that at all, you know, because I remember it happened nearing the start of the, the start of this channel. That's when it was all happening, you know. 2020. That's when it when it got worse because that's when I quit Carl's Jr. and all that stuff. That's when I was going down that going down that road. But yeah. Woo. Yeah. I the, as far as the song, I don't <laughs> it, it it was good. It was good. It was just good. I don't know what else to say. It's a good song. I probably won't listen to it again. Just because. I had to wait a few years to probably listen to this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. This is a really fucked up stream, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, this has been brutal. Oh, my God. You did try to warn me. That was on a whole other level because the way that Knox Hill delivered it, it was like straight up, this is what it is. Like, there's no. There's no like, hey, this is what the song's about. Then he's like describing exact fucking things I've already been through. <laughs> you know, um, you know, it's it's like exact moments he described <laughs> in that song that's happened to me. That's you know, that's like fuck. I just realized there's more to this video. I didn't, I didn't even see that.
Sorry. Ugh. Janine did warn me. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes I like when you guys warn me about songs like this, I was just, I'm like, uh, I'll be okay. Um, but you know, this, this past two months has been rough because, um, a lot of the stuff that's happened in my past has came, came back to bite me in the ass pretty hard. But if you're watching still at this point on YouTube, shout out to you. Um, be safe out there. See you at YouTube.